Keep it going. That was Ben. We got your next comedian coming up. Oh, I know. Keep it up for Jonathan Miles. I'll put uh, two articulate black guys with glasses, that's cool. Is <laughs> Obama's American? Okay, that's fine. Nerd is the new black tonight. All right, fine. fine. I've been, I've been in uh, Chicago. I'm originally from Atlanta. I've been in a beautiful city for two years now. I really like Chicago. You guys have what I call uh, equal opportunity public transportation. We don't have equal opportunity public transportation in Atlanta. We have MARTA. That's uh, M-A-R-T-A. -A. That uh, stands for Moving Africans Rapidly Through Atlanta. Because <laughs> you will never find a white person on Marta unless they're taking the train to the airport or there's a Phil Collins concert downtown. <laughs> you know I, mean? I don't know, maybe there's a Drake concert. I don't know, do white people still listen to Drake? I don't know. Is it Mumford and something? So I, don't know. I, I don't know what white people are doing these days. I cancel my white people update. I used to get white people updates like on my phone, like Amber Alerts. Just they were just really tweets from this girl I knew named Amber. That was all. Right. Oh, pumpkin spice is back. Oh shit! All right. I don't know. People like hate on Drake all the time. I don't know. If there's any Drake fans in here, I think I think he's like a successful. He's a successful artist. He's not. It's not bad. Like here, here's a, here's an idea, guys. After the show, uh, if we all jump on our Diddy bike and uh, <laughs> ride down to United Center to go see Drake, like that'd be that'd be cool, right? We could go see Drake featuring Phil Collins. That'd be, <laughs> that'd be a dope ass show, right? Maybe we should do it. Sometimes I like to take Ubers. But I don't like the fact that Uber drivers sometimes play the music that they think I look like. <laughs> like, hey man, I like rap, but are we just listening to your mixtape right now? Like, I don't know. Sometimes like, I'll get like a young black driver, and he's got like a neck tattoo, and I'll be like, you know, I really don't think this guy likes NPR. <laughs> like, young black guys with neck tattoos, they don't listen to NPR. Like, I, can, I can't, like, engage him in a conversation about all things considered. Like, that's, that's not something to do with the Uber driver. I was in a, I took a Uber the other day, and the driver, like, he didn't say a single, like, you know they're supposed to ask you your name when you get in. He didn't ask me that, he just kept driving. And we saw this kid on the skateboard almost get hit, and I was like, oh, shit. Chicago, man, the struggle is real. He turned around, and he looked at me, he goes, I've hit three bicyclists since I've been on Uber. <laughs> And then he said, and I didn't stop for a single one of them. <laughs> I was like, wow, really? And he goes, yeah, I definitely fucked one of them up, too. Like, That's crazy, man. I don't know why he told me that. He gave five stars for his honesty. <laughs> honest guy, I don't know. What am I supposed to do? Uh, I did a travel, get to do comedy a little bit uh, on the road. It's fun. I uh, was in South Carolina. South Carolina, I don't know, is anyone here from the South? Woo! One person, a couple of Republicans in the house? Okay, that's cool. Um, South Carolina's a red state. Like, red is the devil's dick. That's red. I, I did the show and I knew, I knew it wasn't, I knew it wasn't gonna go well. During the middle of the show, I introduced myself and said, hey, my name is Jonathan, I live in Chicago. And one of the guys in the back, just drunk guy, goes, I'm from Beaufort, South Carolina, boy! I didn't realize this is the part of the show that we introduced ourselves to. Each other. So, I just turn this into a Little John concert and everyone's going to hit it. Okay, cool. Alright, we're going to make a roll call. Perfect, perfect, cool. So, this was in February, and I had to address the fact that this guy had called me boy right in the middle of Black History Month. So, like, while I was celebrating my history, he was still celebrating his. Like, I'll get out here on this. This is just a weird thing that happened. I was on the I was on the red line and I saw graffiti on the on a brick wall like three stories up. Harpo, H-A-R-P-O. And this is how weird my brain works because my first thought was like, Harpo. Oh shit, Oprah's back. <laughs> Oprah's back. She's like, hey, get my book club warriors out. Let them know. The Queen's back in Chicago. Go tell Steve Harvey. Check your neck. <laughs> Hey guys, my name's John, and thanks so much for your time.